For today's Monday message, I want to share a passage from the Gospel of Mark that happens in the very first chapter. Chapter 1, verse 35, Jesus is going to leave where he is with the disciples and go to a quiet place to pray. Gospel of Mark moves very quickly, and so by the time we get to verse 35 in the first chapter, Jesus has been baptized by John, tempted in the wilderness, started his ministry called the first disciples, healed somebody with an unclean spirit, healed at Simon's house, and then we get to this verse. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. Jesus answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus knows that finding that time for renewal of spirit and connection with God the Father is foundational and gives him a sense of what it is that he is to do next. And you also get the sense that there is pressure for Jesus not to find that time. That as he is off on the mountain praying, Simon and other disciples and those who saw him do his healings and want to know what's gonna happen next, hunted for him. That's the word. They were searching and hunting for Jesus. Even in the midst of all of that, Jesus finds that time, that time to be alone, or to be alone in spirit and with God. And I've always found it remarkable that Jesus himself prays. Somebody who is of God the Father, is with God the Father as the incarnated Son, and still prays throughout the Gospel stories. Here at the very beginning, we know he'll pray in the Garden of Gethsemane. He'll pray even on the cross. There are so many things right now going on in the world, in our country, in our lives that make it feel like there is no time to have that renewal of spirit, that sense of connection with God in prayer, that finding a way to be alone or even just alone with a quiet heart is so hard to come by. In my sermon for October 25th, I talk about a woman who says that if your answer to a question is to love less, then you are asking the wrong kind of question. And I think when it comes to prayer, if the answer is that we pray less because of the ways that we've structured our lives or the forces that we feel around us or within us, then we're asking the wrong question about what it is that we need in this moment. John Wesley was married to a woman named Susanna, and they had a lot of kids. I think it was 12. And there's a story about Susanna as a young girl committing to a life of prayer and saying that for as much time as she ever spends in entertainment, which we can imagine without television screens of any kind, was very different than what we consider entertainment, she would devote a lot of time to prayer. And there is a story that how she would find that time is to sit in her kitchen and put her apron over her head. And when her kids saw that her apron was over her head, that was not to disturb mom time because she was doing her prayers. And I kind of like that because that's an example of somebody finding a path in the midst of the real world for that really needed time with God in prayer. And I think that God calls us to prayer for so many reasons, but it's because God knows that we need it, that we need that time just to set our hearts before the Lord and to be still and to breathe and have more of a quiet heart, and to share, and to listen, and to feel that presence, and to know that we are surrounded by the Holy Spirit, by the love of Jesus, by God who is always with us. There are so many things going on that make it hard to find that time, to make us think that we'll pray less in the coming days and weeks. But what I invite you to do in this Monday message is to find times to pray more, to know how important that is for our hearts before God. It was important for Jesus. It's important for us, if not more so. So whenever it is that you watch it, maybe it's Monday when it comes out, maybe at some point throughout the week, is there a moment today that 
you can find a time for prayer. And a moment for tomorrow, and a moment for the day after that, to meet God and to know how loved you are, how called, and to get a sense of that renewal of spirit. I pray that for you in the name of Jesus. Thanks be to God.